You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. And welcome to the WBT. This is Political Tuesday with Mike Lodge, and I'm glad that you've joined me. I'm a little bit late in producing this podcast. Normally, I have all my podcasts out by 10 a.m. in the morning. However, I'm in the process, or was in the process, of getting my 25 25 hours of continuing education for my tax work. So I had to finish that. Got it off, passed it, passed my test, and I am once again ready to sign tax returns. But today we're going to talk about we are going to talk about politics, and it's important that we do because everything that happens in politics affects us financially. It affects us tax-wise. It affects us business-wise. It affects us constitutionally as it affects our legal system. So everything about politics and who we put in office affects us in some way. Now, a lot of you are saying, nah, no, it doesn't. You know, my vote doesn't count. You know what? That is a rotten way to think because your vote does count. If you are frustrated with the way that America has been run, with the chaos that you have seen in the Senate and in the Congress, with the inability to address a very serious problem of immigration, then you should be upset. We have had a really big eye-opener over the last few weeks with an individual being accused of something but with no evidence. And people automatically said he's a rapist, he is a pedophile, or whatever name that you want to call him, it was thrown at him. It's a sad situation because that attacked our Constitution. Because we are innocent until proven guilty, not guilty until proven innocent. And so you had a media, you had a Democratic Party who was attacking an individual, not just an individual, but also his family and his children, and they didn't give a damn. They didn't care. Because their political agenda is so corrupt that they will walk over people, they will attack people, they will call them names, they will do all of this in order to get their power back. This is not about democracy. The Democrats are not fighting for you, they're not fighting for women, they're not fighting for the gay community, they're not fighting for any of that. But they are using all these different communities to get their power And that's what it's all about, because their agenda is to create a nation that is a socialist nation and not a nation that is a rule of law country, where we focus on the constitutionality of our laws and how it affects you and me. So we have a problem. And... I don't want you to sit there and say, my vote doesn't count because your vote counts very much. So you need to get up, get registered. If you haven't been registered, it's probably too late by now. I don't know. I have no idea about that. But if you are able to vote, if you're a registered voter, Republican, Democrat, Independent, get out there and vote. But I don't want you to vote based on party lines. That's where we make the mistake. We have to vote this time on a very common sense thought process. And the thought process between the ethical question of what is right and what is wrong. Is it right or wrong to attack fellow Americans? Is it right or wrong to chase people into a restaurant 
and attack them verbally? <clears throat> Is it right or wrong to accuse somebody without any bit of evidence? Is it right or wrong that our Constitution is under attack? Is it right or wrong that Democrats want to raise your taxes and create more government? So this is a common sense question that you and I have to ask about every issue. Right now we have a mob of individuals coming up from South America and into Mexico to cross into our borders. It grew from a few hundred to now a few th a few thousand. Individuals who want to come to the United States to work. I'm not even going to get into the argument whether or not there are people in there that should not be in that group of people. But when you have individuals marching towards a nation, carrying their country's flag, it no longer come, becomes a humanitarian issue, but it becomes an attack upon our border and upon our laws as a nation. It's an attack on our sovereignty. So this is a very common sense issue. Look at the issues and say, is it right or is it wrong? That's all that you can do. Is it right or is it wrong? Don't get into the evil politics that is happening on the television channels, the cable networks, talk radio. Don't even get involved in that. But it's a very simple question of between right and wrong. It's an ethical and moral question. We have seen so much and we've heard so much over the past few weeks. And now we have this mob coming up from South America and we have to ask what is right and what is wrong. We have to protect our country. And we have to protect the mechanisms and the laws that we have in place to be able to vet these individuals whether or not that they should be here or not. Remember, it's not a right to be here. It's a privilege to be in this, in this great nation of ours. We are at a point in history where we have seen and heard and felt and experienced such negative, evil politics that I have never experienced in all the years that I have been following politics. Politics was a part, big part of my family life. When we sat down on a Saturday afternoon and had our family dinner with all of the cousins and and uncles and aunts and grandparents and everybody would sit around. And there were always two subjects, politics and religion. The two very, the, the, the two very subjects that you're never supposed to have around the table. But we had it because the Lodge family had been in politics for many, many years. And there were always various views. Because like it or not, the Lodge family was never a pure Republican family. But we had some Democrats in there. But we discussed it. We never called people names. And as we were talking heatedly about politics, we were also eating apple pie. <laughs> totally different from what we have today, where people get heated. And they attack. They attack verbally. And sometimes they attack physically. Times have changed, hasn't it? We are in trouble. <clears throat> On this political Tuesday, I want you to remember that in a few days, 
you have the right to exercise your constitutional freedom of voting. And you can vote for whoever you want to. But in voting, there's a decision process that you have to go through. And you have to ask yourself some questions. And it's not questions that benefit you only. But it's also questions on how it benefits your communities, your states, your families, and the nation as a whole. This has nothing to do with political party. But it has to do with making decisions that is good for our nation. Now I have to get into this because it's something that has really bugged me for many days now, especially over the last week with Elizabeth Warren trying to steal the name of the Indians, trying to become a drama queen and try to show that she is an Indian and in fact she's not really an Indian. So he, she has become a senator that is playing this drama and attacking our nation and attacking our companies and attacking everything of America because she wants government to be control of each and every single one of us. So... Chief, she thinks she's a chief, I think. So let's call her Chief Spreading Bull. It's a proper name for her. Everything that she is spreading at the moment is anti, anti, anti. Hate, hate, hate. Nothing to help the people of Massachusetts. Nothing to help the people of America. Everything that she touches has to do with control. And that control is not just over businesses and corporations and stockholders that she attacks every single day, but she wants control over your rights, your decision process. And that's where we, where, we, where we get into so much trouble. <clears throat> Elizabeth Warren has a, a long history of making up stories. Basically, she's a politician. She's been a politician either in the academic world or in the political world, or in the legal profession. She's always played it to where it benefited her. No one else, just her. And we see it this very day. If you follow her on Twitter, you can see that she's out there every day attacking, attacking, attacking bringing no new thoughts, no new ideas, no new solutions to the various problems that we have. What I hate is for her to always dwell upon the fact that there are children at the border who have no parents, but she wants them united. Parents who have brought them up to the border and dropped them off so that Americans can babysit them. But she's so worried about them. And on the other hand, we have 700,000 American children that are homeless, that are on the streets of America. And there's not one word from her, not one plan, not one strategy to help those kids out. Because it doesn't benefit her politically. 
This is where we make the choice of what's right and wrong. Is this individual right to be representing Massachusetts? If I were a Massachusetts individual, I would say, no, she's not the right person. Unfortunately, I am even in a worse state of California, a state who has been destroyed by liberalism and socialism. Liberalism and socialism. We have drug addicts running down the street because the city of San Francisco said, hey, we'll provide you with free needles. Come on over. And as they're coming over to get those free needles for pooping on the street. And then you've got a sanctuary city that has now become a sanctuary state that was originated by Gavin Newsom. <clears throat> so you've got a city and you've got a state that has more homeless in than any other state in the Union. We have more undocumented individuals in the state of California than any other place. We have an economy where the institutions who look at states have said California is 43rd worst run fis- fiscally than there, and within the United States of 50. And they brag, the state brags about we are the fifth world economy. No, they're not. Because if you have the fifth world economy, and if you have the citizens of that fifth world economy who cannot afford to purchase a home, who are taxed at the highest rates in the nation, who have the highest gas taxes, who has the worst educational system, you have a problem. Whatever you say about being the fifth world economy comes down to the fact that no one can live in that economy. Only the 1%, which make up 1% of the wealthiest Democrats. But they don't care because they have the power. And with that power, they have destroyed the nation. I just read today that San Francisco is, is going to start letting illegal aliens to vote. The largest, one of the largest cities in the nation is now going to start letting illegal aliens vote. <clears throat> Sad, isn't it? We have a state of California that is out of control and becoming more out of control every single day. That's why I request look at Gavin Newsom and when you look at him, vote him out of office because he is the originator of the sanctuary city that has done so much harm to the state of California. Common sense is you don't want people in office that are going to do harm to your communities, to your state. Because that puts your family in jeopardy. Don't let your vote go silent this year. Get out there and vote. Vote based on common sense of what is good and what is right. Eliminate the the evil, eliminate the bad, and vote for what is right in your states, in your communities, in your school systems. Use your vote. 
your vote is vital to keep our democracy going and to protect the liberties that are offered to you through the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. Just a few more days. Just a few more days. And you will be able to exercise your vote. And don't be afraid to sit down and pray about it too. Pray about that you're making the right decision. The good decision. The moral decision. The ethical decision. On who you're putting in office. You hate to think about politics, right? It's one of those things that you don't even want to think about, but you have to get involved in it because it has consequences on your life and on the lives around you. This is Mike Lodge for the WBT. If you have any questions, send me an email at mlodge at lodge-co.com. I'll try to answer it the best that I can. I promise you that. We'll talk with you soon. Remember, get out and vote. Don't stay at home no matter what. Get out and vote. This is Mike Lodge. I'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website, at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. World of Business and Taxes on WBT. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services.